welcome back. Another day, another vlog. Good to have you here on Monday, start of another week. Busy, hectic. What a weekend. Uh, some good things, some bad things. Yeah, it was um, it's a bit, bit, bit crazy. Friday was a good day. Uh, went out with Benny, shot a video, Bell's Rapids. He got a new lens, his new 20mm for his Z6. I got to play with my brand new, eight, well, pretty much brand new, second hand, but brand new, just refurbished, uh, repaired, 18 to 35 art series lens. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool having that zoom on there. I must admit, I have been looking for a zoom for a 50. It's, uh, I think I've said it a thousand times, the M range, the biggest killer is just zooms at average. My 15 to 45, I think I've barely ever used the kit lens. The 55 to 200 is pretty good. I do appreciate it, but I think it could be done a lot better, um, definitely. And I think you see that a lot when you do go, when you finally get your hands on a good piece of glass like the Sigma Art Series, which is just basically an L series lens sort of level, um, 18 to 35. Just enough movement to sort of frame your shots and get really nice shots up. Um, I think it worked out really well. So super stoked about that. Uh, very, very cool. So yeah, definitely need some more zooms from your Sigma. That would be good to suit the M range. It can bolt straight on without that adapter. It is a little heavy. It uh, does make the poor old M50 look uh, inadequate. <laughs> I'd have to say it was, uh, yeah, very, but look, very, very cool. Great to get out and finally use it. Uh, it had done a PCB board, so I think it cost me like 180 bucks. So I think total all up, basically brand new condition uh, for like 430 bucks. So just insane, stoked about it. So less than half price, you, you can't go wrong with that. And I think the images are gonna be awesome out of it. And it's gonna definitely make me second guess whether I should carry the 16 mil out at all, um, or I just use a 16 mil for like video where I'm locked in for the daily shows. So. Not sure, um, 16 is probably a little bit better for the Astro. I did go out last night to try and do an Astro video. That was probably one of my worst efforts ever. <laughs> um, first location, closed. Uh, it's rained all weekend, but it's, it was closed for extreme fire hazard. So that blew my socks off. Uh, then I had to go to plan B. Plan B, I got there and all my apps and everything were telling me midnight was gonna be no clouds. And yeah, I got a couple of little spots where I got basically some nightscape shots. And yeah, then the clouds rolled through, that was the end of it. But what was more concerning is it was a good 30, 35 minutes, easy 40 minutes out of Perth, um, in the forest, in the Avon Valley forest, and still light pollution just was prolific in the photos. Um, once you see the video, I'll, I'll have a look at it and see if I can post it. I don't, I'm not real, I guess it's probably you gotta, you've got to post the stuff that you're not proud of. Um, the failures, it's good to see the failures and see that every time you go out, it's not just amazing. Australia's just this amazing, you know, every time you go out, you can get a beautiful Milky Way. You just don't, unfortunately. Um, and it's just, I think last night was one of those nights. Uh, also, some good news, got the iPhone, my new iPhone 12 Pro, so I'll be doing the unboxing on that. Uh, and obviously doing, I, had it for, well, got it late Friday afternoon. So I've had a bit of a play over the weekend. And look, first up, I've been using, I got mouse covers um, purely because of the protection value. Uh, I need this thing to last a good two, three years. I don't want to be trying to have to repay, uh, pay off pay off something to Telstra and then have to buy a new phone. So I'm really hoping that's the best case. Uh, and they are renowned for their just absolute bulletproof ruggedness. So. Now the other thing is, I got this, which is a car vent mounter. Now with the Moose, as I've said a few times, they were way in front of the eight ball for Apple with magnet, magnets and setting up. Uh, their, uh, what do they call their top of the range? Their level three or whatever mouse range basically has magnets built into the cover as it is. And this is magnetic. So like it's only been a week since Apple's release, but Apple's way behind the eight ball. Um, so this magnetizes on, sorry, lost a train of thought. Uh, this magnetizes on and sits in your vent, which is per, and it actually does a really good job, holds the phone there really great. The only problem is, and the only downside I have with this is, 
if you are going to buy one, and they are, they are coming out with a charging version, so there'll be a charger built into here so you can charge it at the same time, but that's still to come uh, with a few of the other little tricks. If you've got loose vents, our V-Dub has basically, I guess you'd call flimsy vents. They're really loose and easy to change and chop. But when you put that with a phone on it, uh, it's a fair bit of weight, so it does tilt off. I found by putting it on a big, thick section, it held there and it'll sort of stay pretty stable. Didn't fall off or anything, but it uh, just the vents, because the vents are so loose, they're not a firm, firm vent, they're just plastic crap, um, mass produced as all these big companies are, no, no quality. Um, it's That was the only side. So if you do have flimsy ones, you're probably gonna get this and go, ah, oh, shit, not for me. Um, so yeah, just be aware of that. But the magnet side of it, and it's Billy just to grab it, and leave that in there and pull the phone off. Doesn't pull this out. Ne never pulled this out at one stage. I think I hit one big massive bump and it shook and fell off. The phone fell off, um, but that was once in, over the weekend. So I'm pretty pretty impressed with actually the magnet side of it and that case and everything in regards to Moose. So that was pretty cool. But yeah, the vents. That's the only thing I will say, just make sure you don't have Lucy Venties. They're good. Now, um, some other big stuff uh, happening. We've got the return of Droney. If you didn't see that video on Friday night at the premiere, um, that's up. They're showing off a few, few new bits of gear like the SwitchPod Pro my DJ Osmo 4, and obviously my new droney. So Mavic Mini's back in action. It's, uh, that video was, oh God, last swing I was home. So I've done a video with it and I've done some footage over this weekend and I'm super stoked with it. Um, obviously big wins, it's not ideal, but the footage coming out of it is just sensational. Um, and I'm really hoping that it's going to help me 2021 push this channel towards that magic thousand subscriber uh, bracket and push us forward get that nice b-roll because i do have a, just some amazing locations that i guess it's hard to visualize without seeing the bigger picture so to see where i go walking and go walk about so uh very very cool very excited about it and uh yeah look uh, it's good to have a drone back hopefully i don't sink this one in the river at the barrier classic <laughs> Now, um, also, we did some, as I said, we did some Bells River Upstream, so that one's coming up. So I've got a couple of videos out of this week. Um, one, at Bells River Upstream should be a really good video. And this, the Astro one, I'm not sure how it's going to go. I, I think realistically, when I'm in Perth, I need to either get to the coastline at this time of the year because that Milky Way's coming up, goes down pretty early. You've got to get there, get there fast and get it done. Uh, because you only get the back end of it during the later parts of the night, so it's not really much good to us. But other than that, um, yeah, look, been a good weekend, busy unboxing, packing stuff, getting stuff ready, setting up computers. Big Sur come out for the Apple, so that was another update. Um, had a nightmare of an update with my wife's phone. She um, doesn't really back up the photos so much, so there was, I think it was 10,000 photos I had to basically download into a computer and delete off her phone. That took me hours upon hours because it would only let me do a couple of thousand at a time. Get that all updated. It took me nearly 24 hours to get it all fixed and updated, so it was a bit painful. So just a reminder there, back up your phone at least once a month. Uh, delete your photos off your phone and put them into folders so when it syncs, you've got them there in your folders. You're not just keeping them and double hashing them and double hashing them. So that was uh, the one big learning lesson I had from that one. So, um, and then Big Sur come out and look, yeah, <laughs> I've, I've had it for a day and a half now on the MacBook 16 and the logos are different and smaller, but other than that, have I noticed anything? It's a different screen, it's all color thing. I actually preferred the old Catalina island picture but um, I think we'll have to change that backdrop set that desktop picture up anyway but look no real noticeable differences um, that I know of I'm hopeful it works better with uh, the photography stuff and it'll make that a little bit easier I don't think it's the sort of updates that are really going to affect me that much I think it's more your uh, social users and people that are product productivity people are going to notice more difference to it but 
just your generic users look it's just another update it should be better it just means your older stuff is getting older and i did notice that the other day i said to my wife um we've got an old imac which we use just for like the general house computer and my old macbook the old mac cannot go past uh, sierra high sierra so that's pretty much locked i think next update in probably a year or so uh i think that mac's probably gonna have to uh finally bite the bullet because it's uh, it's just not keeping up and you you just get don't get the things matching up the software so you get a phone that's up to date and then it doesn't really match up so yeah it was a it was a bit of a pain in that regards but uh that's the i guess the beauty and the benefits of technology and it's fast paced changing so it uh, looked big weekend for all that sort of updates, phones, bits and pieces like that. The Mini was out, the Max is out. Big rave reviews for the Mini. I did say I think it was going to be the biggest seller. Um, look, having the iPhone for a couple of days, first initial results. Look, no difference. I noticed no real difference. Um, I did notice, though, when I did video, uh, some video on the phone uh, with Jack up on the farm, uh, mate, my best mate's farm, Curtis, uh, the video looked absolutely stunning. So uh, in daytime, I did use it last night to do the night video. So I'm hopeful that looks as good. And low light was really good. So I was really wrapped with that. And that was why I wanted it. Um, and I think it's going to work really well. So very, very cool. And uh, look, the daytime imaging looked insane. Really, really stoked about that. Uh, very can't wait to do some more work with that and really have a good play with the do some start doing more videos with the Osmo on it and and it did was super super stable going from the 10 jump from the 10 up to the 12 uh, super super stable ridiculously cool so very happy about that that was the main reason for my upgrade so very cool um, now Netflix we talked I think a couple of weeks ago about Netflix uh, up in their prices and here comes the mower man, my apologies, <laughs> uh, up in their prices in the States. Well, they've done it to Australia. They've come back and got us as well. And it's gone from 14 up to 16 bucks a month. Uh, it's another 2 bucks a month. I guess it's not a real lot because I use it a fair bit. Um, we use it at home and I use it at work. So I guess it's, it's valid. It's still only 16 bucks a month. But it, everything's getting dearer and dearer and dearer. So it's 16 bucks this year. Next year it's 18 yeah, if that's 20 and then 25 and 30. Unfortunately, like these things, the price is going up. Wages have not gone up in 10 years. So that's the biggest concern, I guess. I understand inflation. Uh, I don't understand inflation when no one's wages are going up. You can't keep inflating prices when no one's got the money to pay for it. So that's a little bit of a concern. So hopefully, especially in COVID times, putting your prices up is a bit of a kick in the guts. Um, there's been a couple of great examples. Adobe was fantastic. They locked their prices. Virgin, they locked all their status for everyone, for flyers. There's been some really great companies do the right thing. Uh, it's a shame that some, something as big as Netflix can't take a $2 hit and pull a line out, oh, we want to give you more great content, or which is ridiculous. If there's not enough on Netflix to watch, then you need to read a book or get out of the house. <laughs> because it's massive. Uh, yeah, I've watched it all the time and I've, I don't think I've touched the surface. So yeah, very interesting, that one. Um, Alpha Guard is, so Alpha Guard who does the cameras, we did the M50 skin. Uh, they do a fantastic job doing lenses. I've got a new lens, one coming for the 18 to 35. You're gonna love that. I can't wait to do that one. That wrap install, it's gonna look amazing. Uh, they're doing rear lens cap uh, skins as well. So basically, you, you really get really, bleh, your rear lens cap basically just sits in there and does nothing. Uh, basically, you put a nice vinyl sticker over it. They're pretty cheap. They're two bucks at the moment, the introductory price. Two bucks at the moment, pick your size. There are a good variety, but there's there's a couple missing. So there's a 50 mil I can use, but they didn't have one from 18 to 35, but they do the skins, which I thought was weird. Uh, and no 55 to 200 for the M range. So there are there's a lot of the generic ones, so your 24 to 70, your Holy Trinity stuff, your, your standard lenses are pretty much there, your big names like your Sony, your 12 to 24, um, and bits like that. 
but not all are there. But look, great idea. You don't have to go and get a custom one made up. You can just whack a sticker on, instantaneously see the back of the lens and see what you've got to uh, pull out of your bag. So very, very cool. Go check them out at Alphagard. Uh, Zendura is bringing out a camp unit. Uh, I've talked about Zendura a bit. I do have the affiliate links from below. Look, they're fantastic. I got the got the uh, cords for them. We seen on Friday. They're like really well done. The company's flying along. I think they're doing a great job. Some really good quality stuff coming out. Um, I've been actually using their 65 watt GAN charger all weekend, and it's super fast compared to normal charging from your phone. So that's cool. Um, <clears throat> they're bringing out a camp unit, so you would have seen, I guess, a few traders out there that have got like your portable battery units. So yeah, basically like a car battery. Um, but I guess it's got digital technology in it that allows you to uh, maintain stuff and LCD, so you can plug your uh, USBs in, you can plug your phone, your hair dryer, stuff like that, when you have bush charge your drones, stuff like that. Well, they've got one out, it's uh, coming out for release. You can sign up to find out when it's coming. I'm not sure, possibly could be a Kickstarter, which might be good. Uh, if you do sign up, I think there's a 20% discount it. So if you do do a lot of camping and you've been looking for a portable charging unit for all your digital devices, which we all run now, phones and iPads and everything, lights and all that other stuff, um, definitely go check it out on Zendua. It might be worthwhile. You might save yourself a few quid and get yourself a decent unit. So very cool. And I'll, as soon as it does come out, I'll let you know and uh, keep you up to date with all the specs and details on it. Um, Trump, well, Trump, he's finally admitted it over the weekend. He was fighting, he, was, he fought bloody hard to uh, not get there. And um, yeah, well, he, he, he did pretty well. He's, there's still obviously dramas. His supporters are still having ongoing issues. There's a, it's, I guess it's far from over, but look, he's finally conceded defeat. Um, and there was new rumours about today on uh, the media about him possibly giving himself a pardon for obviously all those crimes he got uh, done for that he couldn't get done while he's president. And now, well, he's not gonna be president. So it's gonna be very interesting to see if those people come for him. Yeah, Pelosi's and stuff, whether they, they sick the dogs on him and go full, full hog and throw the book at him. And look, I guess that's, that's the American people's choice. It's gonna be interesting to see how it does play out though I guess it will set a precedent for future actions of what a president can and can't do. Um, obviously, in this day and age, very PC police controlled society. Uh, everything's, everyone's bubble wrapped and you can't say anything nice or nasty to anyone. Uh, no matter who you are or what you do, you've got to be very careful what you say. So it's going to be really interesting to see what happens with him because there was obviously some really big allegations and he's done some definitely some dodgy stuff um, as most businesses and do uh, that's that's part of business so it's going to be interesting to see how that all plays out and keep you informed but um, look he's, he's conceded so that's good um, I guess people can just move on and start getting used to the new their new world order I guess uh, over in the states and I'm thinking it's probably going to do <laughs> a lot with uh, a lot of trade things will happen really quickly, which will be good for financial communities, economies and stuff like that. Uh, I know China's probably uh, pretty stoked about it. They didn't really want to deal with him for another four years. So gonna be interesting in that regards. Uh, South Australia, uh, unfortunately, had a big peak outburst of COVID over the weekend. Uh, <clears throat> I think it's a cluster of about 17 which is affected because we've had some people coming into WA. Uh, pretty much all the states in Australia basically blocked South Australia from travel now. Again, not good. Uh, WA Premier is looking at even possibly saying, well, we might lock it all down again anyway, just because of South Australia. It's like, oh my God, please don't do that. Um, don't know how many people were so excited to know that they could get the hell out of this state for a break um, to go and see family or get family to come. Uh, <clears throat> yep, yeah, I've booked tickets to me Barry Classic, so I'll be mighty pissed off if we, I can't go. They'd better be refunding money at a fast rate if they block it again. But um, yeah, what do you know? Uh, hopefully it's, it's not too bad. They can clamp it down real quick and smash it on the head. 
Uh, it's obviously, we're going to get this on going until the, they get the vaccines out and start pumping that foot through everyone. And uh, yeah, by no way means are we done and dusted with that dreaded COVID. Not good. Now, last but not least, this week's video, which will go up Friday, I've got a competition. I've got some stuff to give away that I need to give away. And it, sort of COVID sort of thrown it all around the, around the boondocks. Um, it was stuff for this year. We tried to give it away once before and no one ever entered. So we're going to be giving away a bit of a pack. So we're going to have one of our team bags, Tiger's waterproof bags. So that's pretty cool. Backpack, take it fishing, uh, put all your gear in it. If you're water sports or going down the beach, perfect. Um, some Bokka bearing stickers. They're obviously the sponsors of this. Um, and some nice little mouse pads and you can measure your bearings straight on there for when you do your replacements. Now, if you're gonna be ordering replacement bearings, you're gonna need some money. So what we're gonna do, thanks to our great friends at Bocker Bearings, we've got four vouchers to give away. Now, I'm gonna give away $150 worth of Bocker Bearing vouchers, that's US dollars. So if you're fishing, RC racing, push bikes, anything like that, anything that takes bearings, Bockers is the place to go. They are awesome. Uh, my BMX, my PK Ripper runs it full set. I uh, run all my fishing reels. I've got Bocker bearings in them. They can actually guarantee them. They're amazing kit. Awesome customer service. So we've got a $150 voucher for the first place winner and that kit. And you also get a hat, one of our team hats. It is a small to XL. I have run out of the bigger, bigger ones, but it's still fairly big. It still will fit my head. It is firm, but yep, so that's all good. And, oh, sorry about that, my ugly head. <laughs> and you've got a box of bearings, little Leatherman as well. So beautiful, nice little kit. Uh, so 150 bucks for the winner, 50 bucks to the runner up. So thank you very much, Bocker Bearings, for your continued support. You are amazing and uh, I do appreciate it. So yes, this, this episode will be sponsored, I guess. I guess you'd have to say it's sponsored by Bocker Bearings. And I do appreciate their support always. So what you're going to do, come into this week's video, which will air on Friday night. That will be, which one is that? That is the Bob's Fall hiking uh, loop. Or, yeah, I think it's a, the Kenya loop. One I've got coming up. Um, once that's up, it'll be, I'll take the first, I'll give you a week. That should be heaps. Uh, I'll go random comments. Just, uh, I'll just pick one out of the random comments for that video. Whoever wins, I'll get hold of you and send out the pack and 150 bucks worth of vouchers. And then the runners up, will, uh, I'll be able to pick another random winner just to get a $50 voucher. And I've got another hat, so I can get you a hat as well for that, so for the runner up. So that'll be this Friday's one. Uh, get on there and support the channel. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, and I'll see you all tomorrow, tomorrow's show. Have a great week. And yeah, Monday, done and dusted. Here we go, a week. Adio, we'll be coming that way, that way. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.